Hello and welcome to another Cliff Reviews Art House. This time I'm reviewing the documentary On the Adamant, directed by Nicholas Philibert. This is a documentary that invites us to spend time with the various people that attend a daycare centre that floats on the River Seine in Paris. The centre is attended by people with mental health difficulties and various activities are provided, but there does seem to be a particular emphasis on creativity. I knew very little about this film. It has such a strong opening, which immediately drew me in. We see this person belting out an acoustic version of a French rock song. He's not the best singer, that's for sure, but the rendition is riveting. It's delivered with such passion and emotion. He really gives it his all. And that sets the tone for the whole film. Everyone is imperfect in this film, but there's a real spirit and a beauty all the way through it. The pace of the film seems deliberately slow. It feels like there's no agenda, like the director just turned up and just let the camera be present to record whatever was happening. I really like this. Obviously the film has been edited, but it has the feeling that the camera's just been left running. This means that it's incredibly natural. I recently reviewed Smoke Sauna's Sisterhood and I commented on how the film is beautifully shot and looks amazing, but I felt uncertainty about the authenticity because the camera was so close to the subjects, yet there wasn't any acknowledgement of the camera. Philibert's documentary style in On the Adamant is really effective, I think. We never see the camera and the director doesn't say much, but the presence of the camera is acknowledged by the subjects. Sometimes they speak directly to the camera and they ask a question that the filmmaker answers. I really like this. There's no pretense that it's an objective fly-on-the-wall documentary, but the filmmaker stays back and minimises disturbance to the scene. This makes the film so naturalistic. The subjects rarely look at the camera unless they're specifically engaging with it. I think that takes a level of trust of the subjects to be able to completely relax and just be themselves. This is one reason why I love the documentary style of Laura Poitras. I think she has a very similar style. I've seen a number of Philibert's documentaries and I really like them. His documentary style is often fly on the wall. For example, his documentary is on the main French radio station and the Louvre. However, his documentary in a primary school, The Excellent Etre et Avoir, has a similarly immersive feel to it. I loved Etre et Avoir and I think that this is as good as that. It's a really interesting collection of people in On the Adamant. One thing I really liked is that there's no clear distinction between the people with mental health issues and the staff of the day centre. It does become kind of clear as it goes on, but I like that it starts in this way. The film never spells anything out, and I loved how well this worked. It's more like an immersive experience where you realise things after it's finished. There is a strong politics here. It's a politics that attempts to break down social conventions that have worked to alienate and stigmatise those deemed mentally unwell and points to those very conventions as sources of mental illness themselves while seeking new ways to cure patients via empowerment. It's not anti-medication or psychiatry, but it is about recognising every single person as a valid human being and that every person has a creative energy that can be used to heal. The adamant seems incredible. It's a space for everyone to express themselves, for those that see the world differently, outside of the normal conventions, it really values the validity of their experience. There are a couple of times where I wonder if the documentary in any way exploited the subjects, whether the film was venturing into voyeuristic territory by displaying the lives of mentally ill individuals as objects of curiosity, seen from a detached standpoint, I think overall that the film successfully stays the right side of this line. In fact, to the extent there is direct engagement with the director, the subjects do seem to be genuinely collaborating in the film, 
and some of them have an extraordinary wisdom and perspective. We see various activities that are repeated throughout the film, doing the accounts at the table, the weekly meeting setting the agenda for the week, but my favourite activity were the art crits. For me, the best thing about going to art school were the crits. I think there's something beautiful about a group of people sharing their work with each other and offering feedback on what the work says to them. Although I can be quite harsh with an artwork that I don't like, as I am sometimes on this channel, at some level I do believe that every creative expression has meaning for the person that made it. In the broadest sense, I believe that every creative output has a value, and this documentary really celebrates that. In some of the reviews I've seen, the term outsider art is used. This feels really problematic to me. I think that the art that is taking place here is as legitimate as any other art. I don't see why it has to be labelled in this way. I found the ending a little strange. At one level, it's a basic shot of the outside of the boat where we can see people in the distance going in and out and it just fades into black, all normal. However, it's shot on a very foggy day so the colours are really desaturated. Is it saying that the outside world is grey and lacks colour compared to what's happening on the boat? If it is, I find this a little obvious for a film that has a strong politics but never once has to articulate anything. Overall, I absolutely love this film. I would say it's an experience more than entertainment. We're obviously seeing so much on the TV these days about war. I kept thinking that as we see a group of people who struggle with the basic task of dealing with reality and making a good fist of finding meaning in life, particularly through creativity. I highly recommend this film. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.